Welcome to the Peace Over Pain podcast with Dr. Kevin Reese, where we examine the body as a whole unit and move people from health burdens to health miracles. So get your questions ready, because the show starts now. Good morning and welcome to the premiere episode of the Peace Over Pain podcast. It is July 14, 2022. I'm your host, Joe Lachance, and I'm here with the star of the show, Dr. Kevin W. Reese. Welcome, Dr. Reese. How are you today? Hi, Joe. You doing well? Yeah, I can't complain. Great, great. Well, the Peace Over Pain book is finally out. I know it's been a long time in the making. We're getting great responses, great reviews. Um, I really think that people are happy with this book. So I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about the book, the party that we had last week, and, and then we'll get to some user questions. But let's, let's talk about the book itself. Mm-hmm. You start right off in the beginning of the book with the, something that you call the carnival of frustration. Carousel, right? yeah. The carousel of frustration, right. right. And when I think of that, I think of this merry-go-round, just spinning round and round and round, right? And there's that brass string up there, and you're always reaching for it, yeah. but you never quite get it. And that's why it's the brass ring. And you liken that to what people with chronic pain go through when they are involved with what you call the medical monopoly. Yeah. So, and that is what you start the book right off. It's one of the tenets of your philosophy that people need to learn how to start taking care of their own health, that our bodies were specifically designed to heal themselves and work at optimal levels as long as they are given the right, let's say, ingredients, the right factors, correct? Yeah, absolutely. We can, we can be sovereign with our health and we can not go down that road of needing this monopoly, which it is a monopoly. There's no competition. Right. And yeah, explain that a little. What is the medical monopoly? What, when you say that, you know, a lot of people might get a picture of that board game, you know, <laughs> monopoly. Yeah. But really, right, what you say is a monopoly is, is when one company controls the entire industry. Now, I think, you know, here with the medical industry, it's obviously more than one company. But explain a little bit about how all these different companies actually work as one. Yeah. To- monopoly yeah if there was no walmart or target then amazon would be a monopoly just as an example right um but with this there's you know they're all in bed with each other the health insurance the ama the pain management sector you know the equipment industry the pharmaceutical industry it's all tied together into this one huge conglomerate right and they're not taught health no they're taught symptom management it's symptom management it's pain it's a specialty based pain management system and so they zoom in on the symptom or the problem and they don't connect the whole body and so in the book i'm explaining to the to the reader that the body is connected your ears have something to do with your ankles you know Every, your whole body, you you walk around with this universe, and it's all connected. And when you when you go to the medical monopoly, they they don't view it like that, and you end up on this carousel of frustration because you end up bouncing from doctor to doctor to doctor to doctor, and it can get very very frustrating. And some people end up in in great darkness and right or depressed uh, yeah depressed addicted to drugs and you know the medical monopoly they're experts in infections Mm -hmm. they're experts in trauma care like emergency urgent care 
And there are also experts in making trillions of dollars off of illnesses and pain that they can't fix. Right. So you have to determine what it is that's wrong with you. And if it's not a broken bone or a flat out heart attack or something that's urgent and it's chronic. Chronic yeah. meaning it continuous, it's continuous. It keeps coming back. Right? Yeah, right. nagging. Right. Flare-ups. Right. And, and so you're going down the wrong path because they're not trained. They're just flat out not trained in it. The system is rigged to prescribe and give injections and potential surgeries. And that's all they know. Right, right. Because they're not looking, at, and I've had this, you know, I've had this happen to me personally. You ask them, you tell them a symptom, right? And then when they do give you their diagnosis of what their treatment plan is going to be, and then you ask them the question of, so what caused this to happen, right? What is the cause of this? And nine times out of 10, they can't tell you. No. Oh, well, we don't know what causes it. Nope. No. They, they and, have and, no idea. Right. But they certainly know how to remove the symptoms right? This is why we see all these opioids out there, right? Rather than fix the problem, we'll just kill the pain. So you don't have to deal with it. And this is how people get addicted to opioids. Whereas if it was a whole body approach, like what you're talking about, and they did get to the root cause, you wouldn't need the opioids because the pain would be gone. There would be no pain to relieve correct yeah i mean you look at it like this every human being is walking on 80 grand because your knees are worth 40 grand each that's how much they make for the surgery it might even be more now right and you know the surgeons are putting their kids through college and buying houses beautiful houses nice cars right right and there's no answer to why the knees are in trouble in the first place or why you have a skin condition or a gut condition or a brain condition. They just, they just have no clue because they're not trained. And so the doctors, the MDs, the DOs, the APRNs, and the PAs are basically soldiers. Right. And they're the ones that push everything along. It's, it's one big funnel. Right. And right. so you think about it like this, right? If you were walking down the street, no, if you were driving down the road and there was a police officer in the road and he was doing traffic. Right. And he says, sorry, you can't go down here. I need you to go down there instead. What do you do? You go where he tells you. Right. Automatically. Automatically. Now, if you went down the road that he told you and then the road blew up, who's responsible? <laughs> you or him, right? Right. It's the cop. Yeah. Because he told, told you, you to, to go right. down that road. Right. And so in the medical monopoly, the authority figures are the doctors and, and the APRNs, and they're the ones telling you to go down this road. And eight times out of 10, it's blowing up. Right. But they right. don't get blamed. Or it's a dead end. You could say it's a dead end, right? A dead end. Yeah. Doesn't, or it's right. a circle. <laughs> yeah, cul-de-sac, right? <laughs> but it, it, it's, so then we have to say whose fault is it? It's the, it's the system. It's the way it's right. set up. But you can't say, you can't say that the cop, the police is a monopoly. No. But you can say, because they don't make $1.6 trillion. No. The but medical the system sy makes $1.6 trillion, And that is way more than any other industry in the world, 
probably besides the banking system itself. Right. Right. So that's big potatoes. I mean, we're, we're talking something that's so far beyond our uh, right perception. It's just, it's insane. It really, when you look at it, it's insane that it's been allowed to happen, but you know, this is where we are right now. And, and I feel like a lot of people are becoming dissatisfied with the care they're getting with the fact that they're, it's, it doesn't go away. Or if they do, let's say, cure one thing, something else comes up because of the drugs they gave you. It's the side effects from drugs. And the reason I think it's, it's, we can call this a monopoly is because they don't give you another choice. When we know there are other choices out there, and there have been for years, I mean, they poo-poo everything that is not by their book, you know, by their methods. And, and, and if know. they don't poo-poo it, I like that. That's not said <laughs> too often. Nobody says poo-poo. That's good one, right. But some doctors don't poo-poo it. Right. But they can't say anything because it's against the rules. Right. That's so what then, people don't understand. So then you, so I, I've seen this many times in my career where we have this amazing reversal, this miracle that happens with a client. And then they go into the doctor and <laughs> all the doctor can say is, oh, well, keep doing what you're doing. Right. <laughs> right. That, Not even an apology. <laughs> nothing. Nothing. They're completely clueless. It took me a lot of years to get to the point where I can literally say this confidently because I had to bring my understanding up. Right. And now I have medical doctors contacting me, asking me for advice Right. because a lot of them are depressed. They want out of their job. It's a very depressive job. Sure. And they're handcuffed. They are soldiers. It's just like if, if an American soldier is in, let's just say Afghanistan, and they're out there and they're killing people, uh, they, they may not even believe in that war. Right. But they're no, signed most up. don't. They're signed up. This is the deal. And it's the same thing with medical doctors. They go to school for 10 years and they get in it. And a few years in, they go, oh boy, what did I sign up for? Right. Not all of them. No, some, some of them, them toe like the line, right? Yeah. They like what they do. They drive their Mercedes and they make their 200K a year. And, and, they're, and they're kosher with that. Right. But a lot of them want out. And we're starting to see this on Instagram and YouTube. A lot of them are going rogue. They'll keep their license, but they get out of the monopoly and they become social media stars. Right. And on so, YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Dr. Salandino is one of them. He's a very intelligent guy. He's about my age, early 40s. Um, Dr. Barry. Um, Dr. Gundry, I think there's tons of them. Tons of them, right. And they're leaving. They're leaving. They're, 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 they're on YouTube and they're on Instagram and they're making a new living and they're speaking out and they're saying, I went to school for 10 years and I wasn't taught any nutrition. Right. And it, so it, it is coming to the surface, but Joe, there's still multi-millions of people that go down the medical monopoly road and they're just they believe whatever they say right whatever they say they they believe it and we get this a lot you know um and this is why people like me are called quacks and snake oil salesmen and things like this because we're against 
what's a programmed what in people's heads. Right. People don't understand though, too, that this is new. This is new. The medical monopoly has only been around for a hundred years. Right. Right. That's it. Before that, it was all natural medicines. Yeah. And the doctor you know, went from house to house on a whole. Right. Day. Right. All different medicines. And, you know, we could go into the whole history of the medical monopoly and how they got started and how from the inception they have always been like this and very minded to to squash out any other types of alternative medicine. Yeah. And they have a long history of this over from the beginning of the American Medical Association. But yeah, and, and their curriculum is very limited. The AMA decides what they can teach, what each school teaches, what each doctor learns. And it's not even updated that often. No, and, and their, their skill set outside of surgeons and emergency care, the skill set is how to manage the prescriptions. Right. It's an right. actual skill set. I know this because of my dad. My dad right. is, was on almost 20 medications. There's a balancing. So it's like the, the kidney medication and, and the insulin and the this and the that and the blood pressure. And, and the doctor actually has to adjust the chemistry and say, all right, let's bring this up and bring this down. And okay. You don't always get it right. No, no. And so we do, we do similar with nutrition, of course, but there's, there's less risk, right? Much less risk. We're talking supplements, vitamins. We're talking minerals. We're not talking. Which we need. And of course we need our 90. I'm drinking my Essential. 90 right now. Right. I mean, and we, we can get into that. Yeah. But it's, you know, the body needs nutrition and the doctors don't know anything about nutrition. No. And they don't know anything about the posture. They don't know anything. They're just going to zoom in on, and they definitely don't know anything about mindfulness. So in the book, I break down all three and how, if we put them together at the same time, that's how we can speed up the healing. That's how we can create a miracle in 120 days or less is by putting the three things together. So I like to say, my little analogy is, you know, I didn't invent peanut butter. Right. I didn't invent jelly. And I definitely didn't invent bread. But I am, as far as I know, inventing the peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I'm taking these three things, Components. I'm putting them together. And I'm saying, try this right at the same time. And the healing will be so astronomical that again, you'll go to your doctor and he'll say, well, keep doing what doing you're doing. What you're doing. <laughs> keep doing what you're doing, whatever it is. I don't know what it is, but keep doing it, you know? And that's all they can say, or, or they'll go against it. I've seen that too. Oh yeah. I had a guy just months ago, we got him off his, he was type two diabetic, got him off his insulin in under 30 days. It was like 27 days or something like that. Off his insulin. He goes in and they actually get mad at him. He calls me on the way home from the doctor's office. And he's like, I can't believe I thought, I thought I was going to get a pat on the back, but instead they're telling me that what I'm doing is dangerous. They're telling me that I should have consulted with them. And I had to explain to him that's because they're liable. Mm -hmm. It's the attorneys teach the medical monopoly on what to do because right. they, this man didn't go through the protocol with his medical system instead he went with me but he was doing both right so this right. is the problem is when you come to someone like me and you stay in the medical system you're just going to get torn apart right Your, one arm's getting pulled this way and the other arm's getting pulled this way and you're just going to get split and that's what happened with this guy he got off his insulin 
the medical system got mad at him and then he got scared and he went back on it and he went back on to he went back to the medical establishment and then he started you know he said but my cholesterol is high but my cholesterol is high and i'm like (sighs) more involved in cholesterol like cholesterol is complicated even the doctors don't understand cholesterol it's so complicated and you know so he got scared and so i haven't i haven't seen him in a while because this Uh, is what happens people they get frightened and they go back to the medical system and they get led back down to that dirt to to that dead end yeah the dead end the cul-de-sac just keep going around and around that's right and it again back to the analogy of a police officer in the road saying nope don't go this way come this way and right and you believe the police officer because you're programmed to believe your doctor who is basically a police officer yeah very true and that's been trained to us by television saying elsewhere gray's anatomy Mm -hmm. chicago hope er the list goes on and it's amazing because it was just 60 or 70 years ago the doctors were promoting cigarettes yes you're right i remember the old ads that had them doing it oh, you're 20 years older than me so you do you, you actually remember it yes doctor could smoke in his office when i was a little kid i used to go to the doctor and he would smoke right in his office yeah right there while he was talking to me and my dad or whoever yeah absolutely it was a whole different world back then, but we can get into nostalgia sometime. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't as much of a monopoly, but I think it has been a monopoly for quite a while. But it was. Well, uh, yeah, they used to promote cigarettes, man. Yeah. And that just tells you that they can be bought. They can be bought. They can be bought. Yeah. And so the absolutely. pharmaceutical companies and. The equipment companies, people forget about the equipment. All the equipment, right. Yeah, the $3 million MRI machine. All those syringes. What about even just the syringes for all the shots that they just gave out, right? It's a whole, (laughs) I mean, it's big business, man. And so the pharmaceutical companies and the equipment companies, they can give perks. Right. They used to give kickbacks and money, but you can't do it anymore but they can give perks to the doctors. If you prescribe the most Lipitor, then I'll give you a public speaking engagement in that Jamaica. Will pay you. That'll pay, right, 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 yeah. So you and your family can come on vacation. We're not paying you. Right. But you get a vacation. Yeah. And so now the doctors are slinging Lipitor trying to win. Oh yeah. And so oh, I've been in the a doctor's office when a drug salesman, a pharmaceutical salesman will come in with lunch. Yeah. A big giant lunch. Here you go, everybody. This is the same racket that I was in in my 20s in the music industry. I, yes, I was going to liken it to radio. And the record label executives come in and they would take us out to lunch. Yep. And they would pay for our food and they would give us swag, right? They'd give us the t-shirts and and the albums and, oh, if you're good, I'll hook you up with an interview with, you know, Rick Ross, you know, or 50 cent, you know, and what do we do? We play their record, play their record, you know? And so there's schmoozing beyond all recognition. There's a lot of schmoozing. And oh, and then a lot of referrals going on. I've also noticed the little referral system they have amongst each other. Oh, yeah. uh, you know, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's oh, colon- yeah. If you get a colonoscopy and they and and the colon the person who gave you that code, they find something, they will refer you to one of their friends. Do you know what I mean? They have a little network. Like, oh, I got a live one here. Here, you can make some money off this one it's it's really it, when you get down to it, it is it's really kind of almost i hate to say but criminal it is criminal i mean it, it, it's a monopoly <laughs> yeah it's a yeah. monopoly there's no competition there's no 
chiropractor or holistic doctor. There, there's not, there's no one that is even close to that level. No. To and, and, and they're, they're always putting down chiropractors and natural doctors, right? You can find natural paths out there. They are out there and they will help you. And chiropractors help to some degree. Um, but most medical insurance won't cover it, right? Well, see, th so that's, remember, that's that, what makes it that's, that's what makes it right. a legit monopoly is the insurance factor. Right. It's like, oh, you can go over here, but you're gonna yeah. have to pay for it. Yeah. You know, it's right. just and, and people get stuck in that that mindset of, well, insurance is covering it anyway. Mm -hmm. Well, they're uncovering it because you paid five hundred dollars a month your whole life. Right. You're in a membership. Yeah, add up what you've been paying. Yeah, you know? so it, it's it's just it's astronomically it's borderline criminal. They get away with it because you know the government's involved. It it's it's just part of the right. Part of the conspiracy, man, you know, and yeah, it, is. It, it is what it is. And, uh, you know, I, I just hope that this book and this podcast and the work is going to open people's eyes to take care of themselves. Well, you're you can right. take care of yourself. You, you can take your own blood pressure. You know, right. it, exactly. You, you, you can take your own blood sugar and you definitely should be getting blood tests, urine tests, stool samples. You should be, you should be doing hair analysis. You should be checking all your nutritional profile, your biochemistry and, you know, drinking stuff like this to get the nutrients so that your 11 systems can operate properly. And right. that's the other thing, Joe is like, I mean, I'm, I always use my dad, my poor dad. He's always the sample, but he's the perfect example because, you know, he's heading towards dialysis right now. I say, if you listen to me, you won't have to, but he's being pulled apart. I'm pulling mm -hmm. one arm and his doctors are pulling the other arm. And it's like, I don't know what to believe. And it's, it's, Doctor, it's hard to go through <laughs> the, the doctors. They check, they check the, the, the chemistry of the kidneys, for example. So the creatine levels and all that type of stuff, they, they check all these markers to look at the health of the kidney. Right. But they don't check the nutrition that creates the function in the first place. Exactly right, because the kidney needs certain minerals and, and nutrients to function. Same with the it's liver. It's a living piece of tissue. The whole body needs nutrition, and the doctors skip. They, they, they blow right past it and go right to the kidneys and the liver. Right. And the lymphatic system and the this and the that. They just skip right past it. And... I mean, when's the last time a regular doctor said, let's check your essential fatty acids, you know, let's check your copper. No, they don't. They check the basics. They'll check your sodium, your glucose, your iron levels, calcium, um, calcium potassium. Most of the time, though, you only really get know if they get very, very low. I mean, a lot of people don't know if you have low potassium or low calcium too low, you can die. You know, and these aren't things, and what a lot of people don't know, and I don't think the medical monopoly even tells you this, but you can go, even if you're covered by insurance, you can go to Quest and order your own labs now yep. that you but, can pick up yourself and they're covered by insurance and you can order whatever tests you want. The only problem with Quest is they don't have an elaborate right. nutritional profile, unfortunately. Right. You can get the basics, but there are companies now, and I know you're affiliated with one and there are a few others that will allow you to send a blood sample in yeah. and get the levels that you want. And this is what people should be doing. And there are a lot of home tests out there that people could do 
uh, and check their own levels and then uh, adjust accordingly to what they need because right. the the, the answers are out there and you have some of that, but I'm wondering, Kevin, are you ready to answer some questions from people? Sure. Do you have a question or comment for Dr. Reese? You can either call in to talk live or you can leave an email or voicemail for next week on peaceoverpain.com. All right. So yeah, what I did end up getting some questions from our listeners from our Facebook group. And I'm wondering if, if you're ready to answer some. Let's do it. All right. So you spoke about the lymphatic system before, right? Mm -hmm. And this was probably one of the first questions that came in. It came in from a Renee Green. Mm -hmm. And she wanted to know, what would one do to clean the lymphatic system? She has swollen lymphs on her right side, lower back pain, and pain and filling up of her right ear. Okay. And she also has right kidney problems in her right side. Um, so she's wondering, is it, you know, why is it always only on the right side is one. And is it linked to a deficiency or, or a blockage in the lymphatic system? And, and what would one do to help cleanse out their lymphatic system? Keep it moving. I know this is one of the things you talk about. Yeah. So she's more than likely nutrient deficient. Uh, with the lymphatic system needs B6, it needs zinc. And, you know, the reason why only on her right side. Yeah, I was wondering. Is more than likely posture. We would have to see her P rays. We would have to see her body and see the, the outline, the grid of the musculoskeletal system. I have the same thing on my left side. And once you see the P rays and we can really get in and zoom in and look at the way the body is lined up it's an aha moment. It's a big aha moment because our musculoskeletal system, this is, this is our structure, right? The lymph is just fluid that runs through the structure, right? You know, and if you're, if you're out of alignment, those vessels get blocked, they, they get blocked or constricted or and same with blood. And so this would be my educated guess on her situation. And, you know, she has to get the nutrition in order. She has to get off of the poor four foods, of course. Right. And, you know, you got to get the posture in order. And, you know, what can help? Movement. Movement. Yeah. Doing yes. postural therapy. Um, you can bounce on a trampoline. A little trampoline, right, right. You can just go going for more walks. And then I would be curious to know if she has varicose veins. Now th yes. th this can all play a factor uh, with the vessels and again, nutritional deficiency. So you need a lot of zinc and B6 for the lymphatic system. It doesn't have anything to do with the actual food. There's a myth out there running around that the food plays a factor fruit, specifically grapes, do tend to move the lymphatic a little more, but more so in the head area. Oh. Like if you eat grapes for 10 days or five days, you know, you'll start to feel like you have a cold, you know, phlegm will start coming up and things like this. It'll be, you'll be like, because it's just bringing it all up. Uh, but the overall lymphatic system from head to toe this is coming down the posture. Your, your joints are pumps. Right now, I am pumping the lymphatic system in my arm. This is a pump. Right. So that's the deal with that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think people realize that what really goes on under the skin do you know what I mean? They see these nice charts and it shows muscles and all the organs in there, but it's a very basic chart. If they could really show you all the different systems that are encapsulated in those muscles and within those organs and within your vessels and your bloodstream, it would look like 
what the inside of a, a computer looked like, you know, with all the wires, you, you can't imagine the intricacies that yeah. go into putting this human body in every system. And this is why they call homeostasis interacts with the other system. It's, and if one gets out of balance, it yeah. knocks off the others. It's godly. It, it, it's got right it's almost it's we are machines we're, we're machines with the ability to regenerate right so that's what yeah. makes us different than a car we're, we're set up like a machine but we can regenerate and that's what makes us very godly very right. godly and it's set up a certain way but you have to give the body what it needs and it's only if you're over the age of 16 let's just say right it's your responsibility right it's your responsibility to find the information and feed yourself properly and exercise properly and make sure your posture is proper if you're a gamer and you're sitting on the couch doing this all day you're probably messing up your posture yes you sitting to, for you, so long yeah yeah you need to do postural therapy to get yourself back just like you brush your teeth and floss your teeth to take care of your mouth so what you were saying about the body, we're very fortunate to have Rain Krause on the team here at the clinic. Postural therapist, right. She has 25 years experience with the body and doing body work. And so she can really dive into people's bodies. If they want to submit their P-rays, we can evaluate those. Yeah. And, and let, people, let, let people know what P-rays, it basically just stands for photo ray instead of x-ray, right? Yeah. No radiation it's, needed. No radiation needed. So you can do them yourself. They're pretty easy. Yeah, I can. did a set myself. Yeah. You know, you kind of had to guide me through it, but you know, that's because I'm old. But a lot of these young people, they know how to use their phones. They know how to use technology. It's very easy. It's a very simple set of things to do. You take the pictures and you just send them right in, you know, and, and you know, obviously if you have the book, You'll know how to do that. And, and if you get a little deeper into this, but I personally do postural therapy every day. I have, I obviously am, have been doing the protocols and I find it to be no more than five to 10 minutes every morning. And then in the afternoon, you know, later on before I get ready for bed, yeah. it's, it's, it's not hard. They're not hard little exercises, but I'll tell you, they make a difference because they build. You know, you change them up every couple of weeks. It's, it's, it's been a very good thing for me. And I know people don't quite understand it, but as we get into it, they will. They yeah, will. That, that's part of the work, right? Yeah. So, so um, okay. So I have another question. This comes from Francisco Quiles. And he wants to know, how can he eliminate fatigue without caffeine? He's probably one of those people who wakes up in the morning, has to have a cup of coffee to jumpstart himself, you know, and maybe yeah. has a Diet Coke or something during the day. Um, how does caffeine work and what can we do to, uh, almost as a substitute? Like, why does caffeine wake us up? It's got to be something that it stimulates, right? Yeah, it's a stimulator, just like energy drinks as well. Well, it, it's in energy drinks, I should say. See, when you say caffeine, my mind automatically went to coffee. Right. So, so let's just eliminate the caffeine. How do you eliminate fatigue? That so, well, first we have to find out where it's coming from. It could be because right. he's not sleeping well. Uh, that, that'll do it. Right. Um, but more than likely, he's probably eating the poor four foods. And they take away your energy. People don't understand that. Yeah. And so we would have to find out, does he have a gut issue? Is there something going on there? Um, does he have a nutritional deficiency? Are his essential fatty acids low? You know, it could be, it could be anything. He could be high in heavy metals, you right. know? So it's really hard to say without testing. That's why clinical nutrition is, is the key, but right. yeah, I would, uh, I mean, if Stay you're looking from, for yeah. a drink, I mean, if you're looking for a quick fix, there are always other things out there like ginseng or guarana and things like that. I mean, and, and a lot of it probably depends on how young this guy is, like you say, or what's his health, how, what's his weight, yeah. um, how much, how much moving around does he actually do, you know? And, and, and does he do mindfulness training? Cause if you're, 
if you're all stressed out. That's just true. It. That'll do it. Right. That will do it. All right. We have actually a question from the chat now. Okay. Uh, this comes from Tamara. Her husband is a tennis pro and she's asking, let's say your joints are hurting like your knees. Could this be a deficiency? Or would you say that's more of a postural thing? I'd say it's more of a posture thing, but it could, there could be a deficiency there with calcium and magnesium. Right. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Right. And so we have something in the dispensary called glucogel that really goes after the joints, you know, and, you know, there's collagen involved and things like this, you know, but yeah, my first reaction is posture. Of posture, course. me too. It's, That's what I thought right see away. See what the body looks like. And, it, it, you know, is there a cartilage issue? Because if you're not aligned, then you're wearing away at your cartilage because your joints are doing this. Right, right, right. And that's a problem. And that, yeah, no, that is a problem. I, and I think you told me even like, if you're starting with a broken, but let's say a, a misaligned body, you're starting out with that. If you exercise or play tennis, you're automatically, you're almost making it worse, you know, yeah. because you're starting out not from the optimal point. So this is what I keep telling Tina. I'm putting Tina on blast. Tina, our <laughs> lovely admin, I'm putting her on blast. She won't stop working out. I keep telling her, I'm like, you need to get in. We straight, We need to straighten before we strengthen. If you strengthen while you're out of alignment, the muscles will lock in. It's called muscle so that was memory. to the underlying, right, right, right. Right. And so if you're out there and you're um, doing activities or working out in the gym and your posture is really messed up, injury is coming. Well, you told me that. Stop working out. And I'm like, why? I need my exercise. And you're like, well, try something different. Just try walking or dancing. You gave me the idea of dancing. And I tell you, you're right. You know, it just makes a lot of sense. It just makes a lot of sense. I can't think of and it, it. I can't think of much cardio better than dancing, honestly. This is true. This is true. No, you're right. And dancing uh, is, is a great way to, to, to what was that? Taibo, right? <laughs> 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 or jazz exercise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so I have another one here. Uh, this is a good one. Rosa Albuquerque Santos. She wanted to know what she can do for leaky guts. Leaky gut. A lot of people seem to be diagnosed with leaky gut these days. What is leaky gut? I mean, that sounds kind of scary to me. Like, you know, you got a leaky a leak in your gut. It's dripping out food. It's basically, that is what's happening. And so <laughs> the intestinal lining is, is loose and it's not, it's not, it's not solid like it should be because of because of nutritional deficiency. Okay, so this and, is more of a deficiency thing. Yeah, and so what's happening is now the food is especially the protein is leaking out and then it's going into the blood. This is typically what we call dirty blood. Mm. And then the body sends out an auto immune response and this is what the medical monopoly ends up calling autoimmune disease oh. and for anyone out there with lupus or rheumatoid and things like this you there's a high probability you have leaky gut and so this needs to be fixed with nutrition and you know getting enough collagen and 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 magnesium and calcium to make to get that intestinal lining firm and strong right yeah right 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 and then and then also yeah that comes from nutrition it could be coming from food as well right or different the poor four that that stuff is well, not yeah good for i mean if you're, yeah if you're hopped up on gluten and you're not absorbing properly or you haven't been using enough salt and your stomach mm -hmm. gets alkaline. If your stomach gets alkaline, you're in trouble. Because it won't digest. You need salt for your alkaline, you know, for your acidity. 
That's yeah. what people, you know, and we'll get into that obviously in future episodes, but yeah. there, yeah, there's a whole lot of stuff we can get into. I do have another question here from uh, Tracy Denise, and this comes right from the group. Uh, she's been suffering with migraines for 35 years and she broke down and saw a neurologist who ordered an MRI. Mm. The results showed a pineal tumor lesion. Mm. So now, now she's scheduled to see a neurosurgeon for a second opinion. And she also wanted to add that she had a hysterectomy 11 years ago, and she still has resurfacing night sweats and hot flashes. Okay. And they just started about a month ago. So this, uh, you know, this is something. What's her uh, name? Started with migraines. Her name is Tracy Denise. Okay. Well, Tracy, you're going to go down the medical monopoly. You're going to end up on the carousel of frustration if you don't back out. This is a nutritional issue and you can correct it and correct it quite fast. As long as that, she said she had a tumor, right? Up in the pineal gland. That's, you know, that, that's, you know, we know what the pineal gland is and oh, we'll yeah. get into that someday. Well, but that, yes, she has a tumor slash lesion in her pineal. As long as it's not the sea monster, then, you know, you know, that, that can, that can dissolve because what tumors typically are is like a dehydration. Mm. So it's like the lymphatic fluid, just, you know, it, it's like mud. It's like, if you take mud and put it in the hot July sun, it hardens up into like a rock. Right. You know? So, but migraines, I've never had anyone with migraines have them more than two months. I mean, they go away like that. And because, yeah, and that makes sense that it's nutritional. And, and then, so now she's talking neurological stuff so now we need to know what's the cholesterol level are you low in cholesterol because are you low in healthy fats are you low in fat soluble vitamins these are the things that cause brain issues when you're not getting enough cholesterol when you're not getting the fat solubles okay and we see this a lot with vegetarians and vegans or people that are just following a low fat diet because they've been conditioned from the 1980s and 90s when the whole right. fat free revolution came out and use right. margarine instead of butter you know? right right and right so right. these are the people that are a lot of baby boomers are, are are messed up from this so you know i i would just you know i just know what i would do and I'm not so sure, unless you want that tumor actually removed, what can they do? Right. So you might as well try to heal it yourself because I would have to think pineal gland tumor surgery is a pretty extensive thing because you're going into the brain. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're, yeah. You know, you're going, you're, you're going into the brain. Yeah, you know, we're not talking uh, an arm or a leg here. We're talking you're going into the brain. So you really yeah. got to be this is something you got to seriously think about. And if there is a way to possibly reduce this shrinking, you should definitely this is just my advice to you should definitely look into that yeah. before you jump on the merry go round. Yeah, so, that, that carousel of frustration is is not fun. They will bounce you from doctor to doctor to doctor. Next thing you know, you're going to New York, you're going to Boston, you're flying to California. Yeah, you're, you're for specialists. Thinking. Yeah. And they the know neurology nothing. is a big. And remember, they skip nutrition. They pass yeah. right over it. And they go right to the money. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, you you could be paying... I mean, supplements and nutrition cost money too, but, and it's obviously not covered by insurance, but at, at the end of the day, you're probably saving money and you're saving yourself. Right. Well, that's the deal. It's, it's a whole different thing when you're in charge of it than when you're putting yourself in someone else's hands and, you know, that you may not necessarily be able to trust. 
you know, unfortunately. And you're, you're the pineal gland too. I mean, we're talking probably uh, disruption sleep too. Oh yeah, I would have to think even in, in your thinking, I would think. So, all right, we have time for probably one more. Um, I got, this came from Rose Lagana. She's been having breathing difficulties. She's passed out many times and been to multiple doctors about it. As a matter of fact, her last ED told her that it was all in her head. Her inflammation levels in her blood work are extremely high. She has lost weight and has been taking supplements, but she's had no luck controlling the inflammation numbers. And again, she's been having breathing issues and passing out, like feeling lightheaded and passing out. Okay. And yeah, and they can't figure out why she's been to multiple doctors. Well, we were looking at a postural issue. We would have to look at the spine. All your organs are connected to the spine. Your heart, your liver, your kidneys, your lungs. It's spine, 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 spine. It's your circuit breaker. So we would need to see the structure of the musculoskeletal system. That's first of all, that could be causing the breathing issues that could be causing the dizziness and passing out because it's not uncommon for vertigo and things of this nature. And the other thing is, uh, it could be osteoporosis of the skull. And that's when the skull oh. gets thick and then that starts pinching nerves that starts pinching nerves and, and, you know, there's 12 cranial nerves, like I explained in the book. And so the spine and the skull, cause it sounds to me like she's talking a, a nerve issue. Right. Or she mentioned inflammation, right? So where's inflammation come from? It comes from the poor four foods because right. the poor four foods create free radical damage. So the free radical, if you don't have enough antioxidants to put out the fire, then inflammation occurs. So she may have two or three things going on and she will keep getting passed from doctor to doctor to doctor to doctor. Right. Because they all specialize in, in everything else. And, you know, speaking of the book, I think it's important that people know that, uh, you know, they can, where they can, they can get the book. Uh, through the peace over pain. And, you know, I just wanted to, uh, you know, we're almost out of time here. I wanted to wrap it up real quick, uh, but I wanted to just let people know about the book. So real quick. Have you read Peace Over Pain yet? This short but powerful book reveals how to eliminate chronic pain and or illness faster than any other known therapeutic approach. Download the Peace Over Pain book for only $4.95 and gain instant access to the ebook version, audiobook version, and a video training with Dr. Reese. Go to peaceoverpain.com and start reading or listening right now. All right. This is the information you've been praying for. I just figured if we've been talking about the book so much, people should know where they get it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and I want to thank the people that have got it and are leaving um, reviews on Amazon. Oh, I have a follow up from Tracy uh, um, with the uh, pineal tumor. She said surgery, no way, no how. So that's good. Mm -hmm. So what tests should she ask for? And yes, she has been experiencing sleep disturbances. Well, what oh, tests she asked for? I mean, She's going to, the doctor is probably not going to run the test that she needs. That's the problem. Right. Now we're but right back to this whole. For on her own, is, can she get other, yeah, you know, like you, I said, we can go to other avenues to get tests. That's one of the themes in the book is that whoever has money has the ability to get free. <laughs> right yeah no absolutely if you have money and, and you know just look at anybody who's wealthy what good, if you're if what you're kind of the, health they're in if you're riding the struggle bus then you're you're pinned down by the medical monopoly but if you have money you can go get tested and it's going to cost probably a thousand bucks 
but you can you can get everything everything, everything, right. everything right right and so you know she's going to want to check everything there's 90 essential nutrients so um yeah oh okay so oh i see we're getting uh we're getting uh um i have uh, also some, another chat here from trace from tamra who is a long-term visa now tamra hold on yeah tamra posted in the group about the tennis pro Ten, tamra's husband is is the tennis pro with the joints and the knees right and so she is a vegan and she wanted to just let us know that okay she was Very a vegan cool. for 17 years she she posted in the group last week right i remember and she just at your recommendation as a matter of fact started eating eggs uh and a little bit of fish and on you know full disclosure i was the same way and you were the same way mm -hmm. i was a, a very like staunch vegan no meat no dairy products nothing that comes from animals and it was through having all these nutritional deficiencies and different problems with my gut that between you and another person convinced me that i had to start eating more protein yeah. And the best sources of protein are eggs and fish. Realistically, if you want to get them in quickly. And for me, they were easy to digest. And I could, being a vegan, I could justify the eggs because there's no killing involved. You know, you're not actually killing the chicken. For me, it was about the killing. Well, it's, a, it's an abortion, basically. Well, no, because it was never out, but you're it's like the embryo. It's like, you know, yes, it's true, but it was never fertilized. <laughs> and the way I, I you but know, eggs have eggs are like a multi vitamin. It's like a multivitamin. That's yeah, why I eat one a day. Yeah, it's got so much in it. And anyone who has brain issues should be on eggs and the Tracy who called right, in right. with the with the um migraines would want to maybe try yeah more eggs yeah. but they have more to be eggs. cooked properly right and that we can get into that but they should either be boiled poached or cooked in butter correct yeah or soft scrambled where you still have white spots right right i personally prefer the poached or the boiled but um you know, there's just so much to get into. And I know a lot of the things we're talking about, if you haven't read the book or you're not familiar with Dr. Reese's work, Mike found a little weird, you know, like the poor four and, and all the various things that um, we refer to. But we will be getting into that, obviously, more and more as the show goes on. And you will be learning more about those things. Uh, but again, I, uh, if you have any questions, I'm suggesting you put them in the chat or you can email them to us. Uh, there's a lot of different ways you can communicate with Dr. Reese through the Facebook group. But if you have any questions about these terminologies, we have some great people working with us. We have Amber, Coach Amber, who is in the group now and who talks to people. We have Tina Marie, who you mentioned earlier. Mm -hmm. And then we also have our postural therapist, right? And we, and what was, and we will bring, we will be bringing them on as guests yeah. periodically, yep. but we are almost out of time, Kevin. Do you have any final words for the, for the listeners out there before we get on? Yeah. Well, just that there's always a miracle around the corner. Right. And if you have that mind frame, that mindset, then you're already ahead of the game. But I just want to tell people that those that are listening to this on Apple or Spotify or YouTube, because the replay will go up like a regular podcast, uh, right. be sure to come on over to the Facebook group. And that's uh, facebook.com slash group slash peace over pain. Or peaceoverpain.com. Yep. Obviously, you can find the book or you can get it on Amazon if you choose. And they can find you on social media, obviously, Dr. At, at Kevin W. Reese or at Dr. Reese, correct? Yeah, something like that. I, I, I can't keep up with social media. Yeah, the best way to me. find you is in the group, right? Yeah, the group or peaceoverpain.com. Excellent, excellent. All right, I think that's it for this week. 
Uh, we will see you next week in the group at 10 a.m. next Tuesday. Thank you all for coming. And uh, it's been a great show. Remember, it's always better to have peace over pain. Mm. Right? That's right.